Seven months have passed since the government shutdown, but the outpatient mental health facility in Bemidji is still struggling because of it. More than half of the Hope House clients have been denied services since July because state funding isn't there. Facility officials say because they were unable to serve all their clients, many clients were hospitalized. To put a face on the need for funding, Hope House clients gave personal testimonies tonight at the Beltrami County work session held in Bemidji. A lot of us do hold degrees and we're not stupid. A lot of us just want to have jobs and be like normal people. And if the community could embrace that a little bit more, I think that would be very helpful to us. We're not fully recovered. Um, we did retain all of the staff. Um, we did find all of the clients. The, um, some of them were in the hospital and ended up staying there a long time. Um, the programs themselves, um, at, prior to the shutdown, we had full days, we served meals, we had client employment. After the shutdown, um, there are only half days, we do not serve meals, and only a few clients are employed. One client said that the public should acknowledge that mental illness is just as real as a broken arm or leg. County commissioners encourage Hope House staff to keep the pressure on the legislature. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.